I'm Gamester522, and I'm currently playing Pokemon Ruby version. Now, in the last part, we had managed to get past Route 102, Petalburg City, where people are close to nature. Yeah, talk about nature all I see are trees. Anyway, we are now here in, Pet in uh, Petalburg City. I'm sorry, I'm just kind of distracted right now. Anyway, okay, now this is the gym. Leader Norman, a man in pursuit of power. Hmm. Well, might as Hiya, are you maybe a rookie trainer? Do you know about the Pokemon trainers do when they reach a new town? They first check what kind of gym is in the town. Okay. See, this is Petalburg City Gym. This is the gym sign. Of course. Hmm? Well, if it isn't keep, so you're finished moving in? I'm surprised that you managed to get here by yourself. Oh, I see, you're with your Pokemon. Hmm, then I guess you're going to become a trainer like me, Keith. That's great news. I'll be looking forward to it. Um, I'd like to get a Pokemon, please. Hmm? Oh, oh, right, you're Wally, right? I'm going to stay with my relatives in Verdant Turf Town. I thought I would be lonely by myself, so I wanted to take a Pokemon along. But I never caught Pokemon before, so I don't know how. Hmm, I see. Keith, you heard that, right? Go with Wally and make sure he safely catches a Pokemon. Wally, here, I'll loan you mine. And he just gives him Zigzagoon. Oh, wow, Pokemon. I'll give you a Pokeball, too. Oh, wow, thank you. Would you, Keith, would you really come with me? Okay, we're walking, walking, walking. To the grass. Keith, Pokemon hide in tall grass like this, don't they? Please watch for me if I can catch one. Whoa! Oh wow, he got as lucky as I did. He found a Ralts on his first try. Now he's using his crappy Zigzagoon. I, you throw a ball now, right? Well, well, that's how you catch Pokemon, isn't it? Nah, I need to go easy on him. He's just a beginner. He caught it on his first Pokeball. Just like I did. I did it! It's my Pokemon! Kate, thank you. Let's go back to the gym. So, did it work out? Thank you. Yes, it did. Here's your Pokemon back. Keith, thank you for coming along. You two are why I was able to catch a Pokemon. I promise I'll take good care of it. Oh no, my mom's waiting for me. I have to go. Bye, Keith. Now, Keith, if you want to become a strong trainer, here's my advice. Head for Rustboro City beyond this town. There you should challenge the gym leader, Roxanne. After her, go on to other Pokemon gyms and collect the badges. Of course, I'm a gym leader. That means we'll battle one day. Yeah. Battle my own dad. Because my dad's a gym leader. So basically, our next destination is Rustboro City, it seems. So, let's just get moving. We're now at Route 104. If you're going to throw a Pokeball weak in the wild Pokemon, it's a lot easier if you're poisoned, paralyzed, or sleep. Route 104. Oh no, I'm not a trainer, but that's right. If trainers lock eyes, they challenge to a battle. If you don't want a battle, stay out of their sight. Leaving footprints in the sand is so fun. Yeah, it is. Everyone loves leaving footprints in the sand. Youngster Billy. Billy boy. Okay, now new Pokemon, a C dot. As you can see, it's an acorn. It's a grass type. Now, I know something called Bide, which is the more you attack it, like within three, within about three turns, the stronger the attack will be. Now, you could either just not try not to attack for three turns, or just, or just make sure you made it make it faint within three turns. And he also has a Talo. Oh, 
Oh, I forgot to mention this earlier. Um, I... Um, between videos, between this part and the last part, I leveled up my Pokemon to a pretty good level. Um, Ralts now knows Confusion, so Ralts is able to attack now. So that's a good thing. Learn Quick Attack. Ugh, I got sand in my runners. They're all gritty. Well, you shouldn't be running in sand then. Yeah, never run in sand. The sea, huh? I wonder what it's like at the bottom. A question for the ages. Mr. Briny's Cottage. That seaside cottage is where Mr. Briny lives. He was once a mighty sailor who never feared the ocean. Okay, we got some berries right here. Alright, two orange berries and two Pecha berries. Alright, now let's just go, go this way. We'll switch Pokemon real fast for this trainer. Um Yeah, I was double checking how much yeah, I'm double checking how much EXP it takes for a treat go to level up next time. Oh sure, I'll accept your challenge. I have a lot of money. What does that have to do with anything? He has only one Pokemon, Rich Boy. Rich Boy. He's gonna take you out. Okay, from what I remember, this trainer does something so stupid, it just makes me laugh every time. Okay, you see how his Pokemon's HP's in the red? You guys are not gonna believe this. Okay, you guys aren't gonna believe this. Basically, do you see that? He just used a full restore on a level 7. It's sad. I know. Stupid computer AI is using full restores on weak Pokemon. I don't even see the point in that. That's just totally stupid. Oh, I oh, my level 2 is pretty weak. I think I'll just throw a full restore at it. It only has, like, 19 HP. Full restores should only be for Pokemon with, like, more than 200 HP. Ah, oh, jeez. Ugh, these fights get on my nerves. Okay, if there are any, from now on, any, I... I will try, but from now on, any like wild fights of Pokemon that we've already seen, I'm just gonna cut out. I'm just gonna cut them out. Is all I'm going to do. <sighs> I would like to ask how everyone is doing, but I don't want to bother. Okay, um, put Poochyanna up front. Now we're up here. Cut that fight out. Cut that fight out. Okay. Rus Petalburg Woods. I was about to say Rus Rusboro Woods. There's no such thing. Sometimes there are things hidden, hidden on the ground. Okay, for example, if you check like this little empty spot, there's a potion. But you're like, but I don't see an item there. That's because the item is can't be seen and can be walked over. Now if we check this, we find a Pokeball. Alright, now we just want to jump back off the cliff. Then head back into the forest. Or woods, whatever, whatever you want to call it. Trainer tips. Any Pokemon that appears even once in battle is awarded EXP. Yeah, it's that method that I told you guys about earlier. If you don't know about it, you could have learned it learned it right there. I got a whole bunch of Pokemon. Go, 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 my bug Pokemon. Okay. He has six Pokemon. Guess what they all are? Yes. If you guessed wrong, then I don't know, but the answer is Wurmples. All this all this trainer has are Wurmples. That's it. Six level three Wurmples. Now, I'm about to just cut, like, after I defeat this first one, you look at the second one, I'm just gonna 
cut the rest of the fight. Seriously, this will take way too long if I just leave it in here. So I'm just gonna cut this off right here. Okay. I have all these Pokemon, but I couldn't win. Well, maybe that's because you shouldn't have six level threes. That's stupid. Really? That's just fantastic. My... I can't believe my Poochiana just fainted from a friggin' Wurmple. Paralyzed heal. Ugh. Yes, the Wurmple's in these woods, no poison sting, so... Be extremely careful about that. Because what Poison Sting does is that it has a, it has a slight chance of poisoning Pokemon when it attacks. Okay, I'm just going to run to the Pokemon Center real fast. Okay, and then come back. Now we're back in the woods. Okay, here's a new one. This is what Wurmple can evolve into. A Silcoon. Now, it is a evolved Pokemon, but the thing is, what I think is weird, that, Su that Silcoon's level 5. Wurmple evolves at level 7, which I think is weird. They've done that in a lot of Pokemon games. Pointless fight. Alright. Hmm, not one to be found. Hello, have you seen any Pokemon called Shroomish around here? I really love that Pokemon. I was going to ambush you, but we had the Dwendal in the Petalburg Woods. I got sick of waiting, so here I am. You, Devon Researcher, hand over those papers. I, you're a Pokemon trainer, right? Aren't you going to help me? What, are you going to protect him? No one crosses Team Magma without any mercy. Come on and battle me. Team Magma, huh? A level 9, Poochiana. It's level 9. Thousand. Of course, of course my Ralts won't do anything to this thing. I mean, seriously. It's dark. Type. And Ralts is a psychic type, and all Ralts knows is a psychic type attack. As of right now. So, my Ralts would be pretty much pointless against this thing. Now I'm sure Trico will be able to handle this. Especially how I keep getting hit with sand attack, getting my accuracy lowered. He's just going to keep doing that until I miss and never be a chance, get a chance to attack. Okay, that time I got lucky. Ralts is level 9. Oh, uh, Trico's almost level 12. You're kidding me. You're tough. That's right. Don't mess with the best or die like the rest. I wish I could say that, but I'm out of Pokemon. Hey. That was awfully close. Thanks to you, they didn't rob me. I'll give you a great ball. We got a great ball. Didn't that team magma thug say they were after something in Rustboro? Uh oh, it's a crisis. I can't be wasting time. Okay, a great ball. A good ball with a higher catch rate than a Pokeball. Pretty much what it is. Alright, let's just work our way through here. <sighs> Stupid pointless fights. Okay. If you take bug Pokemon to school, you'd be to be instantly popular. Now, thank God he has only one. Now, this is a new Pokemon called a Ninkata. Now, this is a weird bug type. Like, there's more to it than meets the eye. Like, it has two different evolutionary states. But the thing is, one can only be obtained, like, a certain way. It's basically, you. when this thing evolves, you can get two Pokemon out of it. Um, it's bas um, basically, you just evolve this Pokemon with an empty space in your party. And that's how you get both forms. Simple as that. Trico's level 12. I can't be popular if I lose. Well, no, duh. We only take winners around here. An ether. Okay, then. 